Hey, what is going on guys? It is Anthony from our Paranormal Oasis. And we are headed to the return of the Lovelock Cave. Um, as, as you can see, it's getting to be dusk. It'll be the first time I've ever been out here at night. Actually, it's only the second time I've been out here. First time was three years ago. And, uh, yeah, you guys seem to uh, really love that video. Um, it's got over 7.4 thousand views. And uh, I just want to thank you guys because, man, that's freaking awesome. Whew. Sorry if I'm sucking wind a little bit. But I got pl plenty of equipment with me. I have my... No, not here. No, not here. Got my Spirit Talker app, which you just heard. And, uh... Got Cat Balls, REM Pod, Digital Recorder, uh, night vision camera. I also have my iPad to shoot on if I need it. Whew. I say this in all my videos. My fat ass needs to start working out. <laughs> Especially if I'm keep going on hikes like this. Huh. So, as you guys may know, or you may not know, um, the place we're headed to um, is known as the Lovelock Caves, or the Cave of the Red-Haired Giants. So, this cave um, was discovered by two uh, guano miners. They were mining uh, bat poop. And, uh, whew, where? In the cave? That's where. And they, uh, were digging on the cave floor, mining the, uh, the guano. They said they mined about three feet down, and that's when they just started. <clears throat> whew, sorry, guys. It's a nice little hike. It's where they started to discover little. Little. Yeah. You may call it a little hike. <laughs> if someone's out of shape like me, yeah. Sucking wind. Um, it's where they discovered a bunch of uh, artifacts. Um, they said they documented person. person. Yeah. They definitely documented a person. Um, the male, well, the, the female uh, body, they said measured at six and a half feet. The male body, they measured at eight feet. Um, the northern Paiutes, Elric. Ooh, that is crazy. So I had a theory on this guy. And that could be way off. But these red haired giants, um, they were fair skinned, red hair. Um, they called them barbarians because they were cannibalistic. Three. Three. So there's three of them. And, uh, they called them, the Northern Paiutes called them uh, the CT Cha, which I think translates to barbarians. Um, if I'm wrong on that saying, uh, please type it down in the comments for the correct spelling, or correct spelling, the correct saying. Um, but yeah, these 
red-haired giants would go and pretty much hunt satanic. satanic. Mm, I don't know if they're satanic. Maybe there might be people up here doing satanic rituals. No idea. Um, but they would hunt members of these tribes and kill them and eat them. Well, it said that um, the tribes all got together and were tired of being hunted. So they did the hunting and chased um, chased the giants what is now known back then all this space out here like that um, was Lake Lahontan so they chased these giants to this cave and drawn and quartered hung and drawn and quartered Ooh, that's some old way shit right there Man, look at it. Hung, drawn, and quartered. Um, they cornered them into this lake and uh, grabbed a bunch of brush, wood, whatever they could find, and put it in front of the cave and pretty much tried to smoke them out and uh, burn them alive. Um, the ones that came out, they just ambushed them as they came out of the cave. Um, the rest of them uh, died inside the cave. Once we get in the cave, I can show you, they still have um, the char marks from the fire. But I will tell you this, even at nighttime, this is some beautiful country. Best thing about this, no snakes. This was not supposed to be. It's middle of January. Those of you who want to know what I'm talking about, go watch the first video. Uh, stay and talk. Stay and talk. I am. I'm staying and I'm going to talk with you. Uh, had a run-in with the rattlesnake. I'm not gonna lie, startled me. Scream like a girl. It's okay, I ain't afraid to admit it. Because uh, at that time, I did not expect to um, run into any snakes. I figured being the middle, in the middle, beginning of October, that I wouldn't see any. And yep, nope, I was wrong. scared the absolute shit out of me <laughs> and I hate snakes like they're behind glass in the zoo hey great and you can see like I said all this right here at one point saw torture saw tor you saw torture or saw torture as in you cut them up it's S-A-W um yeah, this is all underwater. But, by God, what a fantastic view. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, here we go. Whoa! Yeah. Watch fake Jason trip and fall, slide down the mountain. Yeah, I've been looking forward to coming back. Name is Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Um, who might you be? Were you perhaps one of the members that got eaten? Or maybe you were in the hunting party that um, trap the uh, the red-headed giants here. Um, the other thing about the red-headed giants. Now, there has been documentation 
there actually were photos and pictures taken in the museum and then one day that's where we're going right up there guys oh I just scared the crap out of myself my strap was blowing on my backpack and I just cut out of the corner of my eye. Um, but they were documented and showed up one day um, a group showed up to the museum that they were being held in and no longer there um, it is rumored that they were sent back to the tribes and buried the other rumor or the theory is that uh Oh, nice little crevice. I'm alone here. You're alone here? I'd like to say I am, but I'm not. My partner in crime is around here somewhere. Um, but yeah, the other theory is uh, government agents came in and poof, made them vanish. So they say their existence is no longer documented. <clears throat> I've read numerous stories online where um, I said they found over 10,000 artifacts buried in this cave. Um, I'm assuming pottery. They said um, duck decoys. The hell? Y'all heard that? Is that you, Whitney? Okay, that's probably you. I heard then. Sound like an owl. I'm like, wait a minute. I can't hear you. Hold on, I'll be up there in a minute. Let's see. Yeah, this is a, a nice hike. I figured I went the other route. She went that route. Came up that way. It's probably less of a trek, but here's... I threw something. You threw something? Hey, babe, do you hear anything up there? Said they threw something. That is a fucking owl. Okay, I'm not crazy. It's probably in a cave somewhere. So, down there. It's inside the cave. This where that little a-hole snake was that scared the shit out of me. Right up here. I thought it was. I was walking down there. I hear a whoo, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I heard something. Mm -hmm. So, I finally made it. It was a heck of a, a trek. Lucifer. <laughs> Earlier said satanic rituals here, but not today. The uh, the first name. Remember we were talking about the uh, theory that maybe they were Vikings. Mm -hmm. So the first name I got Tiger. on this, the first name I got on this was Elric. Mm -hmm. Wait, that kind of sounds like a Viking name. Okay. I'm some noise. okay. So I am going to turn this flash on, and we are going to. Uh, to send down into the cave as soon as she's done messing with my backpack. Yeah, yeah this is just cool. She was making noise as I walked, so it's hard to get rid of it. And if something flies out, hospital. Hospital? Yeah, no, sorry, no hospital nearby. <laughs> Thanks, I'll send us to the hospital. We need well, if a freaking owl freaking dive bombs me, yeah. I'm gonna probably piss my pants. Hello? Is anybody in here? Yeah, 
You okay back there? You can turn that lantern on if you need to see where you're walking. Ooh. So you can, I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, those are scorch marks. That was all the fire from when they burned them out and burned them alive. All of this, a lot of dust too, sorry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up having to go to the iPad. Yeah? Yeah, cause uh, yeah, I'm severely, uh, let me pause this guys real quick and I'm gonna get some more light in here. All right guys, uh, round two is Anthony and Whitney. I had to change the iPad because I was severely, um, didn't have a lot of light. It's about that. Scarlet. Scarlet. I've um, got a bunch of cat balls. Got one there. Got one there. One there, one there. I don't have any on that railing. <laughs> and there. I got a cat ball set up down there, along with the rim pot. Is anybody here with us? Can you do something? Can you make a sound to let us know that you're here? I greatly appreciate that. I'm just gonna carry this thing around with the hand. Coming your way. She does not want to be in the camera. Sorry for the crazy bumpy shit, guys. But there we go. Oh, what's it down there? That's a rock. Ooh, I heard that. So that's a rock and. That's what it sounded like. It was like a rock moving. Also, brought a bell. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna set this. We're gonna set this bell up right here. So, uh, like I said, guys, you can see the scorch marks from the fire that they set. Um, to burn them out and eventually ambush them and kill them. So there's multiple devices around here that's going to allow us to be able to communicate with you. Um, we have a Spirit Talker app, which you can talk to us through. Um, we have numerous cat balls that if you're anywhere up on that deck, that'll, uh, that'll let us know where your location's at. Also have this bell. Right there. So if you can come ring that, shit, that'd be awesome too. I'm not gonna lie. Just kind of walking down around here. Yeah, this place is cool. Definitely a whole different type of vibe at night. There's one of the cat balls, another one there. Got another one right over there. There, there, and I got a ramp hard. It's just Whitney walking behind me. Anything under here? I swear to God, if I seen something with freaking eyes in the teeth, I'd probably Dress. piss me. What'd it say? Dress. Dress? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're dressed a little warm. 
It's a little cool outside, but surprisingly, it's kind of nice in here. Oh, sorry guys, kicking up a lot of dust. I am happy to say that I'm not seeing any signs of animals or anything that have been in here. Huh? Jasper. Jasper? Mm -hmm. That's a different name. And then that's looking back up there towards the entrance. I kind of want to give you guys a, an idea what this place looks like. Coming back up towards you. So if there's anything that you would like to tell us or try and communicate to us, we'll do our best to uh, try and communicate back with you. Now we don't know who we're dealing with in here. Um, I guess we could be dealing with both uh, Paiute, mm -hmm. Northern Paiute, mm -hmm. and the Red Hair Giants. is like pencil shavings but there's a cat ball right there <whistles> rim pod and cat ball damage what did it say damage damage yeah there's some damage in here and the fires. Can you do me a favor and go ring that bell over there? Can you do that? And we did change all the batteries out on the rim pod, our flashlights. Um, and what else did we do? Uh, charge the camera. Get out the digital recorder and the ball. Alright, we'll see if we can't get any communication that way. Did Abbott? It didn't even yeah. say that on Pittsburgh. Did it? it showed before it said it. Like super slow. It was like. So, I'm going to put it right in the crack. Oh, maybe it is going to roll for me this way. I want to try to get whoever's here to see if I can. Push it down the stairs? Push it over the edge. So, like I said again, guys, um, yeah, this place is literally out in the middle of nowhere. I think the road was probably what, 15, 20 miles to get out of here? It was really cool weather. Like I said, my name is Anthony. Can you do me a favor? Can you come light up any one of these cat balls? I like music. Mm -hmm. So I like music. Yeah, what kind of music do you like? Oh, I was about to pull up some music. Yeah. Um, Apparently, you should have downloaded SoundCloud. 
prayer for music. Because there is no such a thing. I'm not be sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, guys. There might be if you call them out. Yeah. on those? If you're going to hear one, like I said, it's going to, just like that, it'll let us know that you're here. You can come light one of those up. I have eight of them spread throughout the, the decks up here. I remember you. Do you remember me from the last time I came here? Is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything that you want or need? Anything that you're looking for? Maybe you're looking for some closure. Are you one of the northern Paiutes that they dug up out of here? Or maybe perhaps you're one of the one of the giants, one of the red-haired giants? Yeah, uh, what is it, the sea food chops? Chops. Chops, yeah. Correct me in the comments, it's okay. Go ahead, do a few things. Yeah, it has been crazy. It's almost like it's like three feet. Maybe where they excavated stuff at? I don't know. Mm -hmm. They excavated a bunch of stuff. Well, if they were using chemicals, possibly. Alright. My name is William. Hey, William. My name is Anthony. And this is Whitney. Can you say either one of our names? You heard that, right? No, that might have been you. Are you both? Is there somebody down there? Can you can you come up there with us? In my hand. I have a little digital recorder I'm going to start. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You may or may not understand what I'm saying, and that's okay. Feel free to communicate with me. What the hell are you doing, buddy? Feel free. Oh, you got to touch stuff. Feel free to communicate with me any way you feel like you can. Even if I may not understand you, okay? Caves. What did it say? Caves. Cave. <laughs> yes, yes, we're in your cave. My name is Anthony. This is Whitney. Who are we talking with? Can you tell us your name in this device here on the railing or down there on the phone?
Were you one of the... <laughs> what did I say? Plan. Were you one of the red-haired giants that was burned alive in here? That was hunted down because you were hunting down different members of tribes and kidnapping them and consuming them, eating their flesh? I have a question for you. If you are one of the red-haired giants, um, why did you feel the need to uh, consume the people that you kidnapped? Why did you feel like you needed to eat them? Were maybe in your religion, maybe... Um, you thought maybe by consuming them that you would gain some type of power from them or knowledge? I'm going to count to three. And at the count of three, feel free. All is well. Thank you. Feel free to tap on something, make one of these pat balls go off, or throw something along the wall behind me. One. Two. Anniversary. Three. Surprise, anniversary. All right. I'm going to stop this device. We're going to go ahead and we're going to play it back. And we're going to see if we caught anything. Set up where it can see the corner ball down there. Where it was going off because I can't see the corner ball from here, so it's going off in there. No, I think it was going off in three. But I don't think so. I don't think it's. You might see it with that, but with that bright light, you might not. Maybe, maybe if we push it back further. There. And put it in the corner like that. That way, one, we don't have to worry about being in front of the camera. All right, I'm going to play this back. Caves. What did it say? Caves. Caves. <laughs> that was crazy. When I did yes, that. yes, we're in your cave. My name is Anthony. This is Whitney. Who are we talking with? Can you tell us your name in this device here on the railing mm -hmm. or down there on the phone? What? Why? The other one, whenever you played on there, uh -huh. uh, and you asked to give you any of what their name went off again with the phone center, just like it did the last time. What did it say? <coughs> it says my name is Raymond. Raymond. Yeah. It's kind of a weird name for a giant. Raymond the Giant. It's not that you went off twice now after you said that. <coughs> Caves. What did it say? Caves. Cave. <laughs> yes, yes, we're in your cave. My name is Anthony. This is Whitney. Who are we talking with? Can you tell us your name in this device here on the railing or down there on the phone? Were you one of the, what did it say? Planned. Were you one of the red haired giants that was burned alive in here? That was hunted down because you were hunting down different members of tribes and kidnapping them and consuming them, eating their flesh. I have a question for you. If you are one of the red-haired giants, um, why did you feel the need to uh, consume the people that you kidnapped? You hear that ticking? 
Why did you My feel like you like needed to eat that? Flicking this, but it was or, you could see it was on there, and I wasn't touching it. Maybe in your religion, maybe um, you thought maybe by consuming them that you would gain some type of power from them or knowledge. I'm going to count to three, and at the count of three, feel free. Oh, as well. Thank you. Feel free to tap on something, make one of these cat balls go off, or throw something along the wall behind me. One, two, anniversary. Three, surprise, anniversary. I'm going to stop this device, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to play it back, and we're going to see if we caught anything. Is that one over there? I was talking to the spirit, the talker app, they said he will get you. He will get me. Sweet. Yeah. All right. I so. just asked him to protect at least me. Oh, yeah. You can protect her. You can come mess with me all you want. In fact, we're going to do a little... Uh, but before, before it said he'll get you, it said mess with him. We're going to do a little experiment. So. I found the bird nest. Do you? Uh-huh. It's funny where they're located. Is it right? session but this time what do you say be cautious, be cautious? Mm -hmm. all right guys so I am oh look at that I am shutting this light down and I'm going to walk without breaking my fool ass neck. See that second okay. light. That's fine. There we go. Is there anybody in here? I'm down here by myself. Please. I'm all alone. I'm in the dark. I just have these little, I got three lights around me. Now is your time. Maybe you don't like the light. And that's okay. I don't blame you. Do the red lights remind you of flames? That's what it just said was flames. Oh, that is crazy. Katie well, does flames. the orange lantern remind you of the flames? Yeah. Can you come down here with me? Can you come sit beside me? Feel free to come and whisper into my ear. You can touch me, you can touch any one of these devices, make them go off. I give you permission, I'm not afraid. How long did you live in these caves? How long were you how long did you live here before you were chased back here and ultimately killed? 
and after you died, were the the Northern Paiute Indians, were they the ones? Did they take over this cave after? Graveyard. Oh, the graveyard. That's funny, because they said they exhumed over 60 bodies in here. I'm sorry if this is your graveyard. Yeah, we don't mean you any harm or disrespect. We're just trying to communicate with you. And we want to share your story with everybody else. A lot of people are really interested about giants, UFOs, aliens, paranormal. And we like the, we like the paranormal side of things. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds, giants and the paranormal. All right, we're gonna stop this device and then we're gonna play it back. And I'm gonna come up there and I'm gonna turn the light back on. Move your flashlight back. Yes, please. That's another thing I'm going to try to do too. I'm down here. Go ahead and turn that light back on. Um, they're not off, you just have to turn the dials up on the back. Flashlight thing, just set the flashlight down and mess with it. But there you are. I'm sure my ass is dirty for trying to figure out. I don't like talking. You don't like talking? Is that why we haven't heard you in? It's okay if you don't like talking. You can use one of these other things that Anthony set up here. Yeah, there's other things. There's other things you can you can use. There's these little balls that are everywhere. You just cat balls. Just sit down and touch them, and they'll just start sliding up. Or you've got baseball that's down here, and there's red balls. Just push it around. Oh. Oh. That just one I was going to be touching. There we go. Thank you. Can I do that again? If not, I'll go back and take a step and see if it was yeah. in mm -hmm. the vortex. I mean, hell, I just walked up and down that. It didn't go yeah. on. No. Oh. Okay. Over to you. Well, thank you so much for um, lighting that ball up. Did you hit it? No. That was like a. Sound like if somebody has something, like the head, and they just dropped it. You know how, like, if you just drop something on the ground, just like a thud? Uh huh. That's what it sounded like right back there in that little pit where I put that bell. So if you're back here in this little pit, you see that silver thing? Can you ring that bell? It rings a bell, but you gotta just push down on the top of it. Whoop, oh, that was me. There. The Sorry. very tip top. 45. You just push down on it. Anne. Hi, Anne. I have a friend named Anne. Yeah. Just push down on top of that bell. It'll ring or tap it on the side and it'll ring very lightly. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to plug this in. Let's or if you like the lights, say again. Just tap or get near the the cat balls, and it'll go off. Okay. I'm gonna play this back real quick. It's okay. It's fine. Is there anybody in here? I want my life back. I'm down here by myself. I'm all alone. I'm in the dark. Is there anybody in here? I'm down here by myself. 
Do you hear that? I'm in the dark. Come here. Listen. Molly, is there anybody in here? I'm down here by myself. Yes. I'm all alone. I'm in the dark. Oh, that was awesome. Just have these little, I got three lights around me. Now is your time. Maybe you don't like the light. Oh, because you didn't tell me yet. And that's okay. I don't blame you. Do the red lights remind you of flames? Maybe that's what it just said was flames. Oh, that is crazy. Flames. Flames. Yeah. No, tell Can me. you come down here with me? So I don't get it confused. Can you come sit beside me? Feel free to come and whisper into my ear. You can touch me. You can touch any one of these devices. Make them go off. My legs. My legs. I give you permission. I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. How long did you live in these caves? How long were you... How long did you live here before you were chased back here and ultimately killed? What the hell? I don't know. And after you died? No, because it was sitting right there on the ground. Yeah. Where the? That almost sounded like like you were trying to rub two sticks together. Uh -huh. How long were you? How long did you live here before you were chased back here? And, Ultimately killed. <laughs> it sounds like it's like trying to rub oh. on the speaker. And after you died. I mean, and that was not me. It was sitting down next to me. I did not have this in my hand. Did they take over this cave after? Graveyard. Oh, graveyard? That's funny because they said they exhumed over 60 bodies in here. Whoa. Did you hear that? That was cool. Yeah. We don't mean you any harm or disrespect. We're just trying to communicate with you. And we want to share your story with everybody else. A lot of people are really interested about you you. giants, UFOs, aliens, paranormal. And we like the we like the paranormal side of things. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Giants and the paranormal. Alright, I'm gonna stop this device. Maybe if you have enough energy, you can make one of these balls bounce down the steps. Can you do that? That would be kind of cool. Stomach. What did it say? Stomach. Stomach? Stomach, medicine. Are you sick? How can we help you? <laughs> 